I'm getting slow in my old age, Alfred. Even you got too old to die young, not for lack of trying. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. Well, here I am. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. New Batman v Superman. They also explained a little bit about what's going on with Flash in the movie too. And it sounds a lot like what's been going on in the Flash TV show, so I'm actually pretty excited. So in previous trailers, we've seen this dark side Omega symbol burned into this post-apocalyptic wasteland. It's basically like the big part of the ocean that runs between Gotham and Metropolis that, that separates them. They're separated by a big body of water. It's been burned up in whatever giant nuclear alien attack has happened. I mean, it looks like the forces of apocalypse because we have parademons. But a lot of you actually did guess correctly. It has something to do with seeing a vision of the future. It's like a dream that they have, but it's given to them by none other than Barry Allen as the Flash who has traveled back in time with a very big warning of dangers that are coming. So imagine on season one of the Flash TV show when we saw that future newspaper, Flash vanishes in crisis. Imagine if this is that crisis. Now obviously the movie and TV universes are different, but I love that we have a Barry Allen who has already been the Flash for a long time coming back in time to warn Batman and Superman, which makes me wonder how they're gonna play with timelines because normally a hero wouldn't travel back in time to try and change the past. Normally the way the DC universe unfolds through time is that big villains come along, heroes come together, they defeat them, they move forward, they evolve, but what ends up happening that's so bad in the future of the movie universe is that the Flash is like, this can't be, I have to go back and fix things. That makes it sound like something happened that was not supposed to happen in the past. It sounds like in this original timeline, what, what ends up happening that's not supposed to happen is that Batman and Superman do not come together to form the Justice League with Wonder Woman. I don't know if that means that somebody else came back in time to mess things up. This is way too complicated and it's not going to go down this way, but doesn't it make you wonder if the reverse flash of the movie universe, the Eobard Thawne of the movie universe, went back in time and instead of trying to kill Barry Allen as a child or trying to kill his mother, calls an audible and decides to prevent Batman and Superman from coming together, no Justice League, Flash still becomes the Flash, but they are not powerful enough to take down Darkseid. When Zack Snyder said the Flash appears in a really trippy way in the movie, a really fantastical way, this is what he was talking about, so this might be the only way Barry Allen appears in this movie. Much bigger way in Justice League and his own solo film, I think his solo film, if he's already been the Flash for a long time in Batman v Superman, then his solo film will probably address most of the things that happen in his comic book. The battle with Eobard Dawn. I'll be interested to see if they try to change that narrative because it's already been done so well on the Flash TV show that people are like, yeah, we get it, the reverse Flash killed Barry's mother, he tries to stop him from changing the past. There are other reverse flashes. By the time we get to the Flash solo film, we'll have done almost every single version of the reverse flash. But that is so far away, they don't have to worry about it for a while. The people that are writing the Flash are actually mostly known as comedy writers, so I'm actually really excited. I think it's going to wind up being one of the funniest DC movies, which is totally in keeping with the tone of Barry Allen. And a lot of you have asked, if they're going to be doing the Flash movie, does that mean that they'll stop doing the Flash TV show when that comes? No, that is not the case. They're not going to stop doing the Flash TV show. Typically, like Stephen Amell, for instance, on Arrow said that he was signed to seven seasons of the show. That was before they ever knew that Arrow was going to be a successful show. They didn't know if it would go one episode or if it would go a thousand episodes. They signed him to seven seasons, so it's probably the same deal for Grant Gustin. Probably signed to seven seasons. What will probably happen is, is when we get to the Flash movie, is that they'll just try not to overlap too much. So the Flash movie winds up doing a lot of Eobard Dawn, a lot of classic Barry Allen stories. We just won't see a lot of those things during that season of The Flash. Now, just for reference, The Flash movie isn't coming out till March 2018. That will be during the second half of season four of The Flash TV show. I know it sounds a long ways off, but it's actually not that far. And what I might do for my Flash TV show bonus video this week is talk about big plot lines from the comics that they can do on the TV show after already doing Hunter Zolom on Zoom. So be sure to subscribe to get that. And I am doing a new round of the DC giveaway this week. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. It's not for a flash ring anymore. They're completely sold out of flash rings. So it's gonna be a $20 Amazon gift card. You can use it to cut down the price of the Star Wars Blu-ray. And I know it's been reported that J.K. Simmons has been cast as Commissioner Gordon in the first Justice League film. I mean, he'll be in all the DC films after that and probably the Batman solo films too. 
but that pretty much means that he's not going to be J. Jonah Jameson in the new Spider-Man solo trilogy, which I'm totally fine with. But I cannot wait for the old school J. Jonah Jameson memes. Somebody tell me why Clark Kent is never around at the same time as Superman. It is going to be a lot of fun. Later tonight, I'll be working on a Game of Thrones Q&A, and there's a new episode of Gotham. I'm going to post the Gotham video on Facebook. It'll be a little bit shorter, but I'll be able to get it out faster. While you guys wait for me to post that video tonight, you can click here to learn about the differences between Zoom in the comics and Zoom on the TV show, on the Flash TV show. And you can click here for all my other Batman v Superman videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.